You know you would look fantastic on a widescreen. Jesus, uh-huh. <laughs> Seven million. Look, do you want to see a menu or what? Let's negotiate here. What's the soup du jour today? Soup of the day, you got a choice of Polish duck blood or cream of kidney. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. Kick me in a kidney. You got it. Any oyster crackers on your seabed? No, nope, all out. I want the special today. Spread out your options. You got your deep fried gizzards. Fabulous. Calves brains with okra. You are a temptress. And pickled pig's feet with peas. <sighs> pig's feet? I love it. Let me down for a quadruped. If you say so. Any spots to go on those feet? Iceberg. So be it. Ow! Hey, Margo, what's up? Jesus. What's going on, buddy? Oh, God. What is it? What's the matter? Pick a seat. I don't get it, Al. I just don't understand it. You want something? Want a drink? I'll call the waitress. No, no, don't even try. I don't know what's going on today, Al. It's so weird. What? Like... Okay, right from the time I got up. What is it? What's the story? Well, just for an example. I go into a drugstore this morning to buy myself a bottle of aspirin. This is at a big drugstore, right? Yeah. I go up to the counter. The guy says, what can I do for you? I say, give me a bottle of aspirin. The guy gives me this funny look and says, oh, aspirin? We don't have that, ma'am. And I'm like, you're a drugstore and you don't have aspirin? Do they have buffer? Yeah. <laughs> Extra strength Tylenol? Yeah. Advil? Yes. But no aspirin? No. Wow. And that's the kind of weird thing that I've been all day. Like, I just went to a newsstand to buy the Daily News. The guy never even heard of it. Could have been a misunderstanding. I asked every place nobody had the news. I had to read the Toronto hairdresser. <laughs> this, I just went into a deli for lunch. The guy tells me they don't have any pastrami. How can you be a deli if you don't have pastrami? Was this a Korean deli? <laughs> this was a kosher from Jerusalem deli. Oh, we don't have that man who said, here, have some tongue. Mm. Or this, I just got into a cab. The guy says he doesn't go to 56th Street. Offers to take me to New York instead. Mm -hmm. Looking at me like I'm an alien or something. Oh, settle down. Oh, God, I don't go there, man. Settle down, take a breath. Do you know what this is? Sure. Well, what is it? What's happening to me? Don't panic. <laughs> <laughs> You're in a Philadelphia. I mean, a what? <laughs> You're in a Philadelphia, that's all. <laughs> so? You see, in what we know as reality, there are these pockets, these black holes called Philadelphias. If you fall into one, you run up against exactly the kind of shit that's been happening to you all day. Why? Because in a Philadelphia, no matter what you ask for, you can't get it. You want to do something? It ain't going to get done. You ask for something? They're not going to have it. You want to go somewhere? You can't get there from here. Good God, so this is very serious. Just remember, Marco. <coughs> This is a condition named for the town that invented the cheese stick. Something that no one in his right mind would willingly ask for. <laughs> and I thought I was just having a very bad day. Sure. Millions of people have spent entire lifetimes stuck inside of Philadelphia and didn't even know it. <laughs> Look at the city of Philadelphia itself. Hopelessly forever trapped inside of Philadelphia. And do they know it? Uh-uh. So, what should I do? Should I just kill myself now and get it over with? <laughs> Try and kill yourself inside of Philadelphia, you're only gonna get hurt, babe. <laughs> Best thing you can do is wait it out. Someday the great cosmic train will whisk you out of the city of brotherly love, off to someplace happier. Well, you're pretty goddamn knowledge of that. Yeah, well, everybody has to be someplace. Is your name Alan Chase? It is indeed. There's a phone call for you, your boss. Okay. He says you're fired. Cool, thanks. So, <laughs> anyway, you have this problem. Right? <laughs> you got fired? Yeah. I wonder what happened to my kids. But, Al, you love your job. Hey, no sweat. How can you be so calm? Easy. You're in a Philadelphia. I woke up in a Los Angeles, and life <laughs> is beautiful. <laughs> you know, Susie packed up and left me this morning. Susie left you? And frankly, Scarlett, I don't give a shit. I say go. And God bless. 
And may your dating pool be Olympic sized. Okay, but Al, you loved your job. Exotic dancing is your life. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'll turn it into a movie script and sell it to Paramount. Toss in some sex, add a little emotional blah, blah, blah. Pitch it to Jack and Dusty, and you got a buddy movie with an exotic dancing background. Not relevant enough? We'll throw in this hole in the ozone. Make it EC. EC? <laughs> Environmentally correct. Have you heard about this hole in the ozone? <laughs> sure. Margo, I love this concept. I embrace this ozone. Sure. Some people are gonna get hurt in the process. Meantime, everyone else will channel a little faster. So this is a Los Angeles? Well, everybody has to be someplace. Wow. You want my advice? Enjoy your Philadelphia. Sit back and order yourself a beer and a burger and chill out for a while. I can't order anything. Life is great for you out here on your cosmic beach. But whatever I ask for, I'll get a cheesesteak or something. No. There's a very simple rule of thumb <coughs> in the Philadelphia. Ask for the opposite. What? You can't get what you ask for. Ask for the opposite. You want the daily news? Ask for time. You want pastrami? Ask for tongue. Oh. Works great with women. What's more opposite than the opposite sex? Uh-huh. So, would you like a bud? Yeah, I sure could use a bud. No, stop. Do you want a bud? No, <laughs> I do not want a bud. Good. Now, there's a waitress over there. Order yourself a bud and a burger, but don't ask for a bud and a burger. Waitress! Don't call her. She won't come. Oh. Uh. <laughs> so just bigger. Fuck her. Just bigger. Fuck her. You don't need that waitress. Fuck that waitress. And everything's a <laughs> Hey, waitress! Fuck you! Can I help you now? <laughs> That's how you get service in the front door. Can I help you? Uh, nothing. What do we have? Excellent. How about some OJ? <laughs> Sorry, squeezer's broken. Glass of milk? Cow's dry. <laughs> Just ran out. A cup of coffee? Oh, we don't have that, ma'am. Got any ale? No. Stout? No. Porter? Just beer. Oh, that's too bad. How about a Heineken? Heineken? Try again. Rolling Rock? Out of stock. Schlitz? Next. Best. Next. Tomorrow? <coughs> Tomorrow. Lone Star? Party Har. Uh-huh. <laughs> IPA? Answer's nay. Milwaukee's best. Give it a rest. Oh. But Light. This plain bud is all we got. No thanks. Give me a bud. <laughs> Anything to eat? <laughs> Name it. Pork chops. Hamburger. <laughs> well bun. Big potato. Fries. <laughs> and some zucchini. Slice her off. Burn one. Margo, that was excellent. Thank you. Excellent. Are you sure you've never done this before? I spend so much of my life asking for the wrong thing. <coughs> Doing it on purpose comes easy. I hear you. I could have saved myself a lot of trouble if I just screwed up on purpose all those years. Maybe I was in a Philadelphia and never knew it. You might have been in a Baltimore. <laughs> practically the same. <laughs> okay, here's your bud and one cheesesteak. Hey, excuse me, wait a minute. What is that? It's a cheesesteak. No, no. Uh, I ordered a cream of kidney and two pairs of feet. Oh, we don't have that, sir. I beg your pardon? We don't have that, sir. You little bitch! <laughs> I'm in your Philadelphia! <laughs> Run me into your fucking Philadelphia! I did not know it was contagious. Oh, God! <laughs> Don't tell me about life in a Philadelphia. <laughs> so, I taught you everything you know about Philly asshole. Don't tell me I act in a Philadelphia. You're not really in a Philadelphia. Do you see the cheese on that stick? I'm gonna have to prove the fucking Liberty Bell. Give me a glass of water. Water? Oh. Don't have that, sir. <laughs> we don't have water. Oh, what, you think we're in a sudden drought or something? 
Holy shit! I just lost my job. Susie left me. I gotta make some phone calls. What is a payphone? What's a payphone? Oh, of course you don't have a payphone. Of course you don't. <laughs> you know, being in Philadelphia isn't that bad. Could be worse. I've been in the Cleveland all week. Cleveland? <laughs> What's that like? It's like death without the advantages. <laughs> really? Care to stand? Thanks. I hope you won't reveal your name. Lily. Goodbye. Hello. Do you want to start? Don't mind if I do. Well, everybody has to be someplace, so... <laughs> <laughs>